Welcome to our aerodynamic lesson. Let's try to understand how can a plane fly. To fly means to create a force component which is opposite or at least equal to the weight. The way to create this force can change, uh, can change as prior to the fluid we are in and to other factor. The physicists call this force lift. The important parameters for air are uh, free, they are temperature, density and the pressure, related to each other by the ideal gas. Now we'll make an experiment. We have two balloons and uh, the yellow one, as you can see, is bigger than the orange one. The tube is uh, closed and uh, now I will open it and uh, what do you think that will happen? Will the yellow one become bigger or will uh, the orange one become, become bigger? The yellow one. The orange one. Okay, now let's see. we know that uh, the air passes from a uh, higher pressure zone to a lower pressure zone. We have seen that uh, the air passes uh, from uh, the orange balloon where the surface is smaller so the pressure is bigger to the yellow balloon where the surface is bigger so the pressure is smaller. Now we'll talk about uh, wind tunnels where the fluid behavior can be studied. In Milan we have a wind tunnel made of, uh, composed of two test rooms where the object can be studied. In the lower room uh, is put uh, the object uh, and uh, it is run over by a flux of air, run by a uh, fan system. Yeah. We can see that uh, in, the, in the steel wing of an, air, an airplane the pressure the difference of pressure is uh, zero and so the wing uh, doesn't, rise up, doesn't rise up and instead uh, here where the flux of air is blown uh, onto a wing uh, we can see that uh, because of the Bernoulli effect uh, there's a decrease of pressure in the upper zone of the wing uh, and uh, uh, in the lower zone uh, there's uh, a bigger pressure and this uh, explains why the wing uh, in, rises up in air. To do the experiment we use uh, an air dryer and uh, a mini wind tunnel that I've uh, built. Um, blowing the air using the air dryer we can see that uh, the wing rises up because of the Bernoulli effect. Now we do an experiment uh, vary the incidence angle until we reach the statement. And that's it. In fact, the lift increases linearly to the incidence angle until we arrive to the statement. Raising the incidence angle, this effect increases until the airfoil cannot gain lift anymore. If the fluid does not follow the shape anymore, the, there is no more pressure difference, and this is the statement. Um, the basic principles of aerodynamics are two. The conservation of, uh, of mass, uh, mass can never be created or destroyed, and the conservation of energy. There is a, a numerical quantity of energy in nature that doesn't change when something happens. From the conservation of mass, we, uh, we can deduce uh, the continuity equation, according to which if the fluid's density does not change, uh, the product between um, the fluid speed and the section through which the, fluids, uh, the fluid flows is a constant. From the conservation uh, of energy, um, we can deduce uh, uh, Bernoulli's equation. In um, talking about an airplane wing, we can omit uh, the variation of potential energy. And um, so we can, uh, we can see that uh, if uh, the speed increases, uh, pressure must decrease. And uh, this difference uh, of uh, pressure causes um, an, op uh, an upward thrust that, uh, made, uh, that makes um, the plane now we're gonna make an experiment to show Bernoulli's principle. Uh, while the, the air in the room is still, 
the air between the two balloons is moving and so uh, it uh, has a certain speed. This speed creates uh, um, a difference of, uh, uh, of pressure and so the two balloons.